Awaiting further instructions. Ready for combat. Ready for combat. Ready and waiting. Ready and waiting. Ready for combat. Awaiting further instructions. Ready and waiting. Surprise attack! 
Standing by. Awaiting further instructions. You want to test my hammer? About a cup of joe. A little bitterness can make life sweetness all the time. <clears throat> it's fine. You know, coffee is not a must, but a calm and relaxed mindset sure is. Check out the menu. You name it, I make it. <laughs>
You need anything modded? You know where to find me. Is that it? Come back next time, you hear?
Enemy backup. Stick together. turn. Yeah. 
Bell, you're here. We need to talk about two important issues today. The first issue is our income and expenses for the month. Uh, why is it's not what you think? These games are... Huh? What games? This is a serious issue. Don't change the subject. As I was saying, first is the video store. This month's revenue is about the same as before. No change there. What's changed is our proxy work. It's hard to find well-paid commissions with our low internet level right now. Our income this month is less than one-third of what we used to make. Reminder, since I filtered the highest paying commissions available, your income has increased by 32.21%, exceeding 47% of all internet users. Don't pat yourself on the back just yet, Fairy. You're the next issue. <clears throat> Because of Fairy, our electricity bill this month is five times higher. Fairy, what are we missing here? Explain yourself. Sorry, I do not understand what you said. Now she starts pretending to be some brainless AI. Thanks to her, the HDD's been running at full capacity 24-7. Of course the electricity bill's gone up. Well... This month's mortgage payment is going to be a struggle. That's true. But even at times like this, you can't take risks just because you need money. That's the second thing I wanted to tell you. We got assigned a lucrative commission on the proxy network just now. The other party didn't specify what they wanted done. Only that we'll be contacted privately. Our account level is so low right now, and we don't have any particular achievements to speak of. So wanting to contact us in secret seems strange. The client may have some ulterior motive, 
And there's been a lot of scammers using the proxy network recently. I wish there was some way to find out who the client is. But the proxy network is anonymous. User info is highly classified. I don't think it's possible. Negative. The assigned commission may contain hidden identity related info. Hidden info? What do you mean by that? The account was created one day before the commission was published. Its user avatar is a low resolution ground photo with no clear subject. The same image could not be retrieved from the internet, so should be presumed to have been taken by the user. According to data analysis of the city's street view and terrain materials, this photo was taken at the verge of the Janus Quarter, which is currently part of the construction site for the Old Capital Metro Renovation Project. Oh? Wait, let me think. After we exposed what Vision was planning, they held another bid, and Bellabog Industries took over the rights to the project. Ordinary citizens shouldn't be anywhere near the construction site. Could the commission be posted by someone from Bellabog? Master, a TV channel is currently broadcasting a show with a Bellabog staff member as a guest. How timely. Let's have a watch then. Industries. So, Anton, let's announce today's topic together. A comparison of the Metro reconstruction proposals of Bellobog Heavy Industries and Vision Corporation. Wait, what? <laughs> that must be a mistake. How are children supposed to understand such a complicated topic? In my opinion, as far as reconstruction plans go, I think Bellobog Industries is better. You see, Bellabog's biggest advantage is its technology. They have independently developed heavy-duty smart construction machines for in-hollow use that can effectively resist ether corruption and work safely in the hollow. Thanks to this, Bellabog is able to effectively use the old metro infrastructure in the hollow without explosives or demolition. Compared to Vision, Bellabog's plan reduces the actual cost by 21%. Environmental impact by 53% and increases infrastructure usage by 75%. Uh, oh, <laughs> you're like a real expert. Wow, Bellabog's awesome. It does sound superior. I thought so from the start. Is Bellabog's plan really better? Hmm, that's hard to say, Roar. The pros and cons of the proposal depend on who it's for. Passengers want a brand new safe metro system, not some half-hearted refurbishment roar. Leon, when did you sit down with the kids? Get back to the host table. Using the old metro infrastructure may seem like a more economical and environmentally friendly solution, but it is also more time consuming. And who knows whether Bellabug's machinery can actually work in the hollow, roar. In my opinion, this is just a makeshift plan to cover their financial shortage. Vision's demolition plan was better and safer. Wow! Vision is awesome! It does sound superior. I thought so from the start. That's exactly what you said a second ago. You want to talk about safety? Vision is a corrupt company that wanted to hurt civilians to cut costs. <laughs> so, Vision is the villain. But is Bellabog really the hero? You don't know, do you, kid? There was a serious scandal at Bellabog a few years ago. Hey! What's that supposed to mean? 
Oh, calm down, Mr. Anton. Don't startle the children, Roar. Enough with the act. Let's see your real face under that mask. What? What? You're actually a lion? <laughs> Anton, I've never pretended to be something I'm not. Unlike somebody who is the president of an emerging construction company on the surface. But behind the scenes, they're running away with the money. <sighs> well, that was a complete mess. I'm surprised they aired it. Bellabog's public image has always been pretty good. But people still manage to find their dirty laundry. I wonder how much trouble this Metro renovation project is gonna stir up. Master, I detect a private message from the client of the previously designated commission. What does it say? I detect some threatening words within the message. I will read it aloud. Huh? Threatening words? Faithen, we need you. At this moment, our situation is dire. It's life or death. We hope to get your help. Actually, you are the only one who can help. Since the stakes are so high and any commission details will compromise my real identity, I hope to talk to you in person. Tomorrow morning, 5 o'clock, I will be waiting for you at the crossing on 6th Street. Please help. Fairy, the next time you mention a threat, please remember to specify who's being threatened. Hmm. Judging from their message, the client must really be in trouble. They sounded pretty serious. But asking to meet in person is somewhat suspicious. They want to meet in person at 5 o'clock in the morning, and without offering any info at all on the proxy network. Hmm. Wait. The first line in the message. Faithen, we need you. I don't recall ever mentioning our identity as Faithen on this account. How would they know? Master. The client sent us a new private message just now. As a sign of good faith, we'll pay 20% of the commission fee in advance as a deposit. Please help us. Your internaut account has received the corresponding payment. This meeting is very likely to be a trap, Bell. Choosing the money in this situation could cost us our lives. Perhaps you can have Fairy return the client's deposit? Master. The amount is 1.1 times the total income from Internaut in the previous month. Do you wish to return this deposit? Wait, how much did you say? 1.1 times the previous month's total income. So, maybe I should go check things out. After all, um, you know. Didn't we agree to avoid risking our lives for money? But, if you insist, you can pretend to be a jogger early tomorrow morning and take a look. It's almost time for the meeting. Are you ready to go? My taser is charged. I can imagine you using it, but I hope you won't need to. Take care. Fairy and I will be standing by to offer support. Can you hear me, Belle? Did you get there? How's the situation? A shady guy is talking to himself. That big guy ahead, right? Let's get closer and have a listen. <sighs> Without my bro around, I don't know if I can do this. 
No, 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 no. There's only one word in a bro's dictionary. Determination! Oh, <laughs> that make for a very thin dictionary. Uh, whatever. They'll be here soon. Then, I'd go for it. If my bro were here, he'd say the same. This guy does seem rather shady. Searching for suspicious person and talking to oneself. Master, the above keywords are somewhat similar to the movie plot of videotape 16-5 on shelf 3, section H. Section H? Isn't that the one with the old civilization thrillers we've never cared for? Movie title, Frightful Fracture, Treacherous Dawn. It tells the story of a criminal with multiple personalities who lures his victims under the guise of asking for help. Each time a victim falls into the trap, the villain utters his famous line in a cheerful tone. Yo, found you! Ch check this out! Whoa! Hey, watch where you're swinging that taser! It could be dangerous! Sorry about that. I probably should have waited until you got off the phone. You're Faithen, right? Hmm? Huh? Bell, this guy looks familiar. Wait, wasn't he the guest on Bang Boo Knows yesterday? Anton from Bellabog Industries. That's right. I'm Anton from Bellabog. Since you've already recognized me, I'm gonna make this simple. Faithen, I know it's not common practice to ask to meet in person. Like I said in my message, it's life and death for the company. And because of how serious a matter this is, we can't reveal our identity to outsiders. So we thought it'd be best to meet up in person. This way, we can ensure things stay confidential on both ends. I hope you understand. I see. That makes sense. But before we get to the commission, tell us how you knew our anonymous internet account was actually ours. <laughs> Sorry, I can't reveal that. But our source of information assured us the account was run by the famous proxy Faithen. And that you were a top-notch proxy with outstanding ability and ethics. I didn't expect such praise from Nicole. She thinks too much of us. <laughs> You're too modest! The Cunning Hairs highly recommend it! Huh? Wait, how did you know it was the Cunning Hairs who introduced us? I knew it was Nicole who gave us away. <laughs> of course she wouldn't let you tell us it was her. She doesn't want us to know she's getting something out of it. Anyway, let's concentrate on the matter at hand. Anton, what exactly does Bellabog want our help with? You agree to accept the commission? Right on! Follow me! I'll take you to our construction site. Our president will explain the commission details once we get there. That construction site you mentioned? Isn't it that metro project you just took over? Bingo! If it were still up to vision, the nearby area would be blown to bits. But now, it's a battlefield where my construction bros are pouring their blood, sweat, and tears! <laughs> if we're going on a field trip, we need to make some preparations. Why don't you go with my sister and wait by the parking lot? She can drive you to the site later. Sure! Thanks for the lift, then!
We're almost there. Her president is just ahead. She may be young, but she's a real beast. So it's okay if you're nervous. Aren't you supposed to say, don't be nervous? Uh, watch out! Stay back! Hey, what have you done now? Uh. It's you, Anton. Diagnostic's almost done. Just stay like that. Don't move. Don't worry, kiddo. I'm just gonna install a firewall plugin. It won't hurt. Whoa! I think that's it. Sorry I was late. A real beast, huh? This is Bella Box boss? Uh, hello? Oh, hello there, Miss Proxy. Sorry I had to see something like this so soon after getting here. <laughs> Our president has been waiting for you. Please. Oh. So, you're not the... Uh... What are you doing, Grace? Hmm? Put me oh. down! Huh. I said put me down this Allow instant. me to introduce our president. <clears throat> I'm president of Bellavog Industries! Kuwaita Bellavog! Hello, Faithen. Sorry to have you witness the chaos just now. I hope it hasn't got you questioning our professionalism. We got the call from Anton earlier. Everyone is so relieved to hear an excellent proxy like you is here to help. Anton might have already mentioned, our company has taken over the Metro project, but it's not going particularly well because enemies keep getting in the way. Uh, President, do you really think we should refer to them as enemies in front of Miss Proxy? Huh? Ben, you're too soft. Those crooks have done so many rotten things that were well beyond being polite. Besides, the proxy already accepted our commission, which makes them one of us. We don't need to keep secrets. Anton has a point. We'll be working together, so you can consider us one big family. Oh, I'm really moved, proxy. You see... We're considered an up-and-coming manufacturing and construction company that's climbing the ranks in the industry. Thanks to that, we won the rights to the Metro Renovation Project. But, since we won the bid, we've become a thorn in the sides of many established companies. They'd like to see us run into trouble and lose the project so they can take it over. And first, these companies convinced the banks not to give us low-interest loans. Then they sent thugs to the site to cause trouble before trying to block our construction and fire code permits. And there was that stunt they pulled on TV. As if all that wasn't bad enough, during all this scrutiny, there was an accident on the construction site. Last week, three kids went missing in a hollow. Easy there, Grace. You're gonna give our guests the wrong idea. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Miss Proxy, have you heard of our company's self-developed heavy-duty smart construction machines for in-hollow use? Doesn't ring a bell. Are they important? Our primary edge comes from smart machines that can operate safely in the hollows for extended periods. I'm very proud of these kids. Not only can they effectively resist ether corruption, they're also highly intelligent and can work autonomously according to the situation within a hollow. They're even equipped with specially designed language modules allowing them to talk. I've always taken care of them, and I'm the one who improved upon the prototype so they'd be fit for specific jobs. I'm responsible for the routine maintenance and upgrades as well. They're like my children. But a few days ago, after updating their logic course, three of them ignored my orders and went deeper into the hollow while working. They still haven't come back. Is it possible they were corrupted by ether? We still don't know the cause. Both microchip failure and ether corruption are nothing new for companies operating in the hollows. But when things go wrong involving Bellabog Industries, people are gonna talk. 
The machines were working fine before. This update was totally unnecessary. If you hadn't uploaded the code he left behind into the logic cores, none of this would have happened. Now, wait a minute, Sweet Pea. We aren't sure it's a problem with the core, right? Besides, beautiful and powerful machines deserve a matching soul. As the president of a smart machinery development company, don't you agree? It doesn't matter whether they have a soul. Because I'm the president, it is only appropriate for me to consider them as assets. Putting aside the issue with our enemies, these smart machines cost a fortune. I can't allow the loss of such expensive company property. Proxy, we'd like to commission you to lead us deep into the hollow and retrieve the three machines that got lost. We already have the rough location of two of them. If there's anything more you want to know, you can ask either Grace or Anton.
Roxy, according to the signal, seems like the grappler we're looking for is somewhere in this hollow. It's outside the construction site and we don't have a carrot, so we'll be relying on you to find it. Finding things in the hollows is my specialty. <laughs> I'm relieved to hear you say that. Anyway, let me tell you about the grappler first. The grappler was responsible for transporting on-site waste before it went missing. It spent its days going from point A to point B, and it's real quick. We really can't do without it. What's wrong, Ben? Oh, nothing. Listening to you just reminded me of an old story. Oh, is it a story about fearless bros? Uh, the main character is a man, but it's hard to say whether he's fearless or not. The story is about how a man is punished by having to carry boulders over and over again, day after day. Now, this is just my humble opinion, but... Our company's autonomous machines are all very intelligent. Maybe once the logic core was upgraded, the grappler just couldn't stand such monotonous work. Monotonous work? Ben, that's not true. The man in the story and our grappler are doing some awesome muscle training every day. People with real ambition would never look down on such work. Muscles only grow after back-breaking training day after day. And it's only through the mundane that the soul can grow, becoming hard as iron and as strong as steel. I'm not sure whether to feel awkward or cheer him on. That's Anton for you. Such speeches are how he motivates people at the start of each new project. Let's be off. Our priority now is to retrieve the grappler so Grace can inspect it. Leave any obstacles in our path up to me. Warning. Multiple hostiles detected. Perfect. Let's go, bro. Anton, don't rush off on your own. There he goes. <laughs> That's how a real one does it. Just leave the rest to me. Shift is over! 
Warning. Many dilapidated structures and obstacles exist in this area. Proceed through this crack to continue searching for the target. You're small enough to easily squeeze through. Correction. Agent Ben Bigger will require considerable effort to pass through. My bro is stuck. He can't make it through. Don't move, Anton. We'll see what we can do. Scouting new route. But what about the ethereals along the way? No problem. Piece of cake. It is likely our target. Look! The grappler's up ahead! Don't worry! They're no match for me and my bro! are surrounding us doesn't matter they can't stop us Anton, tag me in. Watch out, the break attack.
Warning. High risk hostiles approaching. Awesome! Finally, a worthy challenge! What a hot headed fool. Wait, why are you so worked up too, Sweet Pea? Pursuers are finally here! I've been waiting! Huh? This guy's had a complete change of personality! His installed voice was nothing like this! Grappler, your smart core may have malfunctioned. Come back with us so we can fix you! Don't treat me like a child refusing their medicine! I'm a real bro! Fearless and unyielding! A real bro? You call yourself a real bro after that sneak attack? Oh? Look who's talking! The answer is simple then! Let's battle! One on one! A battle of real bros! <laughs> I'd better take things seriously! Don't underestimate me! Witness my power! Want to hear from my babies? <laughs> Hammer! Last power test! Straight 
to the ground! My turn. Switch with me, sis! It's moving! tracking me down, but I'm not going back with you, so give up now and admit defeat! I'm a real bro, and these mundane tasks you've been handing me don't appeal to me whatsoever! Wait! If it's just about your workload, we can work this out! If you keep making a scene, you'll attract ethereals! Just come back with us, heavy-duty grappler Hans! Silence! Don't call me by that basic name! It's totally not my vibe! A real bro should pick his own name! Powerful and bold, like a total beast! Yes! From today on, I shall be known as... just said you're a real bro. Is this how far your faith in yourself goes? You... Why are you helping me? <laughs> you have a great dream. Uh, it's a real shame that you're giving up so quickly. And after I agreed to have a proper showdown with you, we haven't got a winner yet. <laughs> That's right! That's right! Anton, my brother! Wait, what's going on? It might be a little weird, but this kid should be fine. Yes, brother! I've made up my mind! I'll return with you and learn how to be a real bro! I'll start by doing my day-to-day -day work! It's okay. We got this, bro. All right. You haven't told me your new name yet. My new name is... Man of Iron, Brave One, Sparkling Engine, Hans! So, you're still called Hans. This is it. This is where the signal came from. 
That child. In hollow boring machine Mark III Greta. We need the proxy to lead the search. Grace, describe the boring machine. Hardworking and capable and cute. <laughs> Just like Sweet Pea was when she was little. <sighs> Nobody has a clue what you're talking about. Okay, to put it in words the average human can understand, it's a machine responsible for excavating tunnels. To work faster, it's also equipped with a demolition saw used to tear down buildings. I thought the little thing would become more efficient after the update. I never thought she'd run off. Who even told you to do such an unnecessary update? It's more annoying than my laptop's constant updates. <sighs> you never talked like this when you were a kid. When you used to be so cute when you were little. Um, but it's normal to go through a rebellious phase growing up, right? Maybe the boring machine has just gotten a few rebellious ideas in its head. No, I won't allow it. Uh huh? I won't allow my cute children to become unruly, rebellious beasts. Midnight drag racing, deliberately scratching up their bodies, putting on massive stickers that are extremely difficult to clean, trying prohibited ether fuel mixtures, even imitating the old civilization cartoons, and trying to merge with other machines! Whoa. Having listened to your description, I wish I could see that. <sighs> Don't push your buttons, Proxy. Proxy, we have to find it quickly. I just hope it isn't too late. Detecting heavy machinery signal. Sinking location data. The target signal is still active. It's currently... Huh? What's it doing? Let's go take a look.
Right. Take this. Uh, in hindsight, I should have packed more. Yeah, 
How should we approach it? Scanning suitable exploration route. Please bypass the current area. President. Let's go! area info. Proxy, is this really a good path to take? Apologies. We had no other choice. There's a safe zone up ahead. Go there. idea what's that all right everybody cover your ears and stand aside using explosives to calm down everything's fine besides look aren't we right by our target don't be so reckless next time. Huh? Why can I hear a girl's voice? <laughs> Up there! So it's you! The bad guys are trying to break up me and Mr. White! It's only been a couple of days, and yet, our child has become a fabulous young lady. <laughs> uh, just take it easy now, Grace. 
But who's Mr. White? Uh, another machine? It's not that rundown building it's on, is it? Don't insult Mr. White! <laughs> I've made up my mind! I'm staying here with Mr. White! So take back what you said! To protect its loved one, the boring machine... It somehow awakens this amazing power! Now's not the time for fangirling! Focus on dealing with it! This little one's gotcha. Come on, Come on, try hard! Support has arrived. Cut! Oh, this little one is so cute! I'll just explode! Huh? Grace, please allow me! Let, let me deal with it! Children need lots of rest. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, move along. Last power test. Please be gone. Pretty stubborn, aren't you? Attracted some ethereals. You dare jump on Mr. White? Get your filthy hands off of him! Get away! You filth! Stop being so rude, or I'll. I'll. I told you not to touch him! You moldy turds just don't understand, do you? She, she's like a different person! Just unbelievable! Is this the power of a girl in love? What kind of love power allows the use of an ether electric hybrid 1400 kilogram demolition saw? Wait, Miss Boring Machine! That way is. Uh, I'm so sorry, Mr. White! I got too excited! The impact just now. It cut through the load-bearing wall. I killed Mr. White! It's all my fault! No, don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. In fact, I should congratulate you. Huh? Now wait just a minute, Grace. Think about what you're saying. Oh no! Grace might know everything about machinery, but she's single as hell! She knows nothing about love! Lift up your head and look around. Mr. White is hugging you! Uh? Every building can only give one hug in its lifetime. He gave his to you. And he even drove off the ethereals. What a gentle building. You have good taste. Don't be discouraged. We won't let you say goodbye to him just like that. Here, come back with us. Let's work together to rebuild Mr. White on new land. <laughs> I'm going back with you!
Welcome back, pal. Bellabog contacted us just now. They said they're going to send the first two machines to get serviced. Then text us once Ben has the rough location of the pile driver. Sounded like it shouldn't take them too terribly long to find the pile driver, but it won't be instantaneous either. If that's the case, you might as well go kill some time while we wait. Awaiting further instructions. Standing by. Ready and waiting. Soldier 11, reporting. Starlight! It's Starlight Nights! Let's go! <laughs> well done, now.
Standing by. Standing by.
their target. Target confirmed. Awaiting further instructions. Standing by.
Awaiting further instructions.
Mm. Time for some tail care. It's our turn, bro. 